What's up guys, we're back, it's Friday, and so you know what time it is. Time for What The Fitness. And this week we have a return guest, Jeremy Awakens. It's been a while, it's been a while since we've, we've had him on the show. Let's see what he has to say about drinking cold water. Now hold up, hold up, hold up. Just spoiler alert, he's gonna say it's bad for you. Sitting in a tub filled with cold water, good. Drinking cold water, bad. According to modern biohackers. This is one of the most stupid things that almost every restaurant does. They serve ice cold water with their food. You mean like every this human? This is literally one of the worst things you can do for your metabolism and digestion because every time you drink an ice cold beverage, including water, with your meal, you are shutting the tiny passages that secrete gastric juices. Those same gastric juices are what allow you to metabolize your food effectively. This is why so many Americans have gut issues, digestion issues, is because they don't understand these basic principles. Other parts of the world, like Eastern Asia, this India, lady behind them they like, never what is drink ice cold beverages with their food because they understand these basic principles. Instead, you wanna have a little room temperature water with lemon before your meal, oh, and then maybe some nice hot tea after your meal to aid digestion, but never cold beverages while you're eating food. This is why people have digestion problems. It's the cold water. It's not the fact that like 80% of their food is ultra processed garbage, utterly devoid of fiber. It, it's not that people have higher anxiety than ever and stress, which by the way, psychological stress and digestive, inflammatory digestive disorders have a very, very close association going both ways. People who have autoimmune slash GI issues are more likely to have psychiatric disorders and vice versa. But no, 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 no. Jeremy's got it all figured out, guys. It's the cold water. By the way, what is with, with these influencers that are like always standing in a public place making a scene and their eyeballs are bugging out of their head? I mean, I don't, I'm not a psychiatrist, but you know, you got them crazy eyes going on. I, I just, I don't know what to do anymore, guys. Like, really? It's cold water. This is a problem in the last, you know, 60 years when the health crisis has come on is everybody just started drinking cold water. Nobody drank it before that. Nobody liked drinking it before that. Other countries don't do it. What? Cold water is like pretty much ubiquitous. And there's no evidence that I'm aware of that cold water shuts down your gastric juices. And by the way, if cold water reduced gastric secretions and made digestion less efficient, that would actually cause you to absorb less calories and get leaner over time. Are people getting leaner over time, Jeremy? Survey says, no. We're getting fatter as a society, getting more body fat. There are obesity treatments that work this way, that inhibit digestion and you end up wasting more calories in your fecal matter. Why does this not happen? Because obviously it's not having any kind of real effect. Your body is more than adept as a warm-blooded animal at warming up whatever you put into your body. It's not gonna inhibit your digestion. It's not gonna make you sick. It's not the reason that you're not making progress. But many people end up just following folks who say stuff that they want to hear. It's much easier to hear that, hey, the reason you're unhealthy is cold water. Just drink some warm water or some room temperature water and you'll be healthy. Well, that's easier than like exercising and controlling my calories and eating enough fiber and fruits and vegetables. To hell with all that stuff. I'll just drink room temperature water while sitting in an ice bath because that's what these bio hackers, emphasis on the hack part, would have you believe in 2023. I'm out.